play. Thank you. It's in the shape of musical notes because of the theme of the musical and everything. Of course, of course, that, that's great. I, are you trying to bribe me, Alice? No, no, I promise. <laughs> I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Whose class are you in this year? Mrs. Plotkin. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah. Well, hey, you're gonna have some fun in our club this year, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much for the present, Alice. I'll see you next week. Okay, good. Thank you, Alice. Whatever would I do without you? Probably just be a loser, Dad. Hmm. Alice, is this your dad? He is so handsome. Not as beautiful as you, Miss Cole. Well, it's all due to the wonderful barrette that Alice gave me. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> You're doing what? I'm auditioning for the school musical, The Princess and the Frog. <laughs> as what? The lily pad? Lester? No, the princess. Well, you know, Al, if you don't get the lead role, it's not the end of the world. But I want to play the lead. I mean, look at our family. You play all sorts of instruments, Lester plays... whatever Lester plays. And didn't you say that Mom's a really good singer? Yes, but... Yeah, so it's in my genes. Something I can't even mess up. I'll be a natural. Ben McKinley? Is that you? Yeah. Kelly? I can't believe it. You remember me? What are you doing here? I live in Silver Spring now. I have a law practice in Tacoma Park. What are you doing here? I thought I'd be hearing your songs on the radio by now. No, no, actually, the band broke up a few years ago, but um, I own this place. We bought it a couple weeks ago. Great place. Right, oh, right, yeah. Uh, this is my son, Lester, and uh, my daughter, Alice. Hi, nice to meet you. Well, you'll all have to come by sometime for dinner with your wife. My wife passed away a few years ago. Oh. I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, um, you and the kids will have to come by then for dinner. We can barbecue. That'd be great. Here's my card. Give me a call sometime so we can get together. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do that. Come on, I'll walk you out. Do you know your dad was the hottest guy at Lincoln High? Every girl in school wanted to date him. <laughs> hottest guy in school? Ew. Hey, Lester. Oh, hey. Uh, Loretta. Right, yeah, I knew that. I was wondering if you could help me move some boxes up from the storeroom. Of course. <laughs> This is more than I can take. What are you doing here, Aunt <gasps> Sally? <laughs> well, I just thought I'd drive over and see how you all are doing. Yeah, from Chicago. <laughs> Milton and I were in Virginia visiting his brother. What, I need an excuse now to come and see my family? How'd you get in? The side door was open, Ben. That is very careless, honey, with children around. Yeah, uh, what are you doing vacuuming? You, you don't have to do that. Well, no offense, honey, but the place was in dire need. I'm not even gonna ask when the last time was that you vacuum. We all have pretty busy lives. Oh, no, I know that, honey. I'm not blaming you, my goodness. I know what an impossible situation this is for you. Working full-time job, trying to take care of two children without any help at all. Uh, I'm not a child. Aw, oh, I know you don't think so, honey. Sally, Wait I... a minute, you didn't wear those jeans to school, did you, honey? What's wrong with these? What kind of impression are you gonna give your teachers if you're dressed like a homeless person? And Alice, hasn't anyone shown you how to use an iron? Sally.